Assalamu alaikum, my name is Ahmed Miki and I'm going to be talking about the two month journal. Three months ago I had a nightmare. This nightmare turned my life from an older Ahmed that used to not follow this religion the correct way. In this dream I woke up from my alarm but wasn't able to move. I just sat there bored out of my mind and wanted to know what was going on. Suddenly my mom came upstairs wondering why I've been taking so long to get ready. She shook me and shook me and started to cry. She she called out to me, Ahmed, no, you're not dead. You're not dead. Wake up. I myself scared scream out, Mom, I'm not dead. I'm fine. What's wrong? After that scene of my dream, the next scenes were all scarring. I found myself in a coffin, unable to see, able to see everyone praying in the mezgid. I kept screaming out, I'm alive. I'm alive. But no one was listening. What I just told you will happen to everyone here when they die. The next part was very scarring. I found myself in a grave and heard everyone making dua out for me. When they were done, they just left. I was left alone by myself in the darkness. But I, I thought to myself, what have, I, what have I done with my life? I knew what was going to happen to me. Well, I knew what was going to happen to me next, and everyone here probably knows. Alhamdulillah, I didn't see the next parts because my mind wouldn't be able to carry out the torture. Next thing I knew, I heard an alarm and woke up for school. From then on, this dream has changed my life. Ever since that dream, when I think about the, delaying the prayer, I thought that the next day my alarm clock wouldn't wake me up, but the angel of death would. And what if assignment helped me even more in the goal to have taqwa. For the first week, I was able to do my 30 to 45 minutes of Quran every day. I prayed all my prayers on time and tried to follow the sunnah of the Prophet. The Prophet loved to give more than he received. I tried to help as many people as I could, whether it was lending money to a friend or to a small degree to make someone laugh. These two weeks made me realize the right way to follow the religion. It isn't all about doing wonderful things like praying, reading Quran. It is all about helping the people in need or to make people feel good. We all know that the only way to pray is to be purified and clean. I do admit that I used to not clean myself when I used the restroom. But in these two weeks of cleaning myself properly, I felt not only a purification in my body, but also in my soul. I felt coolness throughout my body and a good smell as I walked. I just love being who I was. Being this clean made me feel like I ruled the world. Trust me, being clean makes your self-esteem go up very high because you are always satisfied. In these two weeks, I have learned the magic Egyptian parent word. No, it's not please or thank you or may I. No, it's hader. Simply saying hader to your parents makes it so easy on them. For example, Ahmed, go take out the trash. Instead of saying fine or okay, for some reason, if you say hader, your parents will treat you so much better throughout the day. As long as you are close to your parents, Allah is always close to you. Satisfying your parents is as easy as smiling. Listen to what they tell you once they tell you, and I'm sure you'll be closer to them and closer to Allah. Now, looking back and seeing the old person I was, skipping prayers, being dirty from the inside and outside, I see that I really didn't have anything to live for. What I feel now is pure happiness and accomplishment. Your key to the straight path is your taqwa. Allah is always watching you. And if you don't do whatever you really wanted to do that was haram, Allah knows that you sacrificed something bad because you love Him. Always fear Allah, love Allah, and know that He is watching you. This le lesson taught me to be the best person I could be. Sometimes I wonder why I'm one of the hands out these papers. Now I know. Not only does He do this to benefit us, but He does it because He loves us. I'm going to conclude with this. Amwi, we all, Amwi, we all love you because, for making us better Muslims and making us better people.